Chennai-based space startup Space Zone India made history by launching the country's first ever reusable hybrid rocket called Rumi-1. My colleague caught up with its founder and CEO Anand Megalingam on the company's upcoming launches, which includes Rumi-2 and 3. Anand also added that they recently closed a deal with Graha Space to launch 100 nano-satellites. There's a slice. Here's a slice of that conversation. Let's talk numbers. I think your first launch had a series of Pico satellites that was the payload on a relatively small rocket. The rocket came back now. How many more launches are you looking at? How many more payloads do you have? What is the order book looking like for your startup? India's first hybrid rocket last year we launched it. So that hybrid rocket, it's carrying like 150 different Pico satellites, these all those things. This time like 50 Pico satellites and the upgraded version of a 3 cube satellite, these all those things. In the next pipeline, we are going to sign with the different types of companies who are all the manufacturer of satellites. We are, uh, opportunity is coming back to us and we are going to sign these all those things. And in our uh, pipeline, last time we launched it's a Rumi H. This time we launched it's a Rumi 1. Mm -hmm. It's a maximum of uh, 80 kilometer it can go. but. Uh, according to our uh, reusable facilities, according to the government clearance, there is a limit and we set it out uh, maximum like a 35 kilometer like that. Then next year it will be like a Rumi 2 we are planning to launch. Rumi 3 is there. So everything we are working on it, everything is in a under process. Once we uh, signed uh, MOE with our government and our investors, then we can proceed with like a Rumi 2. Right. What is the timeline for each of these missions, Rumi 2 and Rumi 3? When do you foresee them having to take place uh, in the near future? So almost like a Rumi 2, we are planning it's in uh, 2025, we are planning it. Then after 2027, we are planning for like a Rumi 3. And who are these companies that you're talking to whose payloads you hope to take to space? Uh, can you give us some names of these companies who you are yeah, Dubai-based company is there, EduTech for Space. Uh, it's run by like a former ISRO scientist. Uh, her, her name is uh, Sudha. She is in uh, EduTech for Space, founder and CEO. They are working in uh, satellite technology. Also, we signed MOE with uh, that company also. And also, like uh, we are going to sign MOE with uh, Graha Aerospace. They are uh, almost to launch a uh, 100 uh, nano satellite. So that agreement is uh, still processed. And uh, most probably, like next week, we are going to sign it. OK, all right. What does this do for Space Zone's revenues? Uh, could you give us some perspective as to how much you do every year in terms of revenues and what kind of growth prospects these agreements and MOUs will have and how does that translate to revenue growth? Give us a perspective of what your revenues are like and where they go from here. Actually, when I'm starting this company, it's a totally zero only because like with the second hand laptop, we started this company. It's in a 2020 December 1, I started this company. On the time of revenue, it'll be like a first year, it'll be like a zero. Then after that uh, launching of that 100 femto satellites, like our brand, it's reached uh, somewhere, you know, some of the location in our uh, India. And we tied up with many of the uh, foundations like American India Foundation, mm -hmm. uh, Martin Foundation and Abdul Kalam International Foundation. So everywhere we signed up on the time, like uh, we got like a CSR fund. Yes. In 2020, even gradually we reached almost like a 98 lakhs revenue that we generated then after that uh, 2.5 uh, CR uh, generated in the last financial year almost like a 2.8 uh, CR 8 crore uh, that we generated in uh, this uh, financial is coming uh, running financial year right almost we crossed a 5 CR but you spoke recently or uh, this little while ago about investors and you know you have been funded so far by CSR grants across yes. various companies uh, do you see that changing are you in talks with potential investors are you looking to raise a series a round of funding anytime soon yeah almost like uh, after the successful launches like uh, we approach like uh, many of the investors they are mm -hmm. also ready to support these all those things so our company valuation is in uh, progress like so last time when we are going for our uh, company valuation so it will be like a DCF method only futuristic uh, valuation mm -hmm. method so according to the valuation the company overall revenue uh, overall uh, value it's going to come around like 800 here and we tapped to many of the investors with our pitch tech and they are ready to support for this thing everything in uh, pipeline everything right. is moving perfectly right. so when do you think you would you are likely to raise your first round of funding and what can what amount would you like as far as that first round is concerned so actually like uh, we are planning to get like a 50 cr Mm -hmm. that is our uh, first round fund that we are uh, expecting because we are working in a uh, mm -hmm. pre series uh, a funding for more news and updates all you need to do is follow cnbc tv 18 on all of our digital platforms